Hi, we're John and Angie. We love to eat, we love to travel, and oh, did I mention, we're dealing with infertility too. Come join us on our journey through this thing we call life. It is date night. We're going to in and out In and out date night, keto. But we are going to be Cheeto the next two weekends. Woo-woo! Mm -hmm. And then the next time we actually go out to eat keto, we're going to be going out to eat, like, sit down. So it's pretty exciting. What's our first keto meal going to be sitting down? I don't know. That's a good question. I kind of want chilies. Sit down. But I kind of feel like if we go to chilies, <laughs> we're going to be Cheeto. Yeah, definitely not a keto, that's for sure. We've done keto chilies before. Yeah, remember I would always get the steak yeah. and the broccoli. I'd get the ribeye steak with the butter. And I would get broccoli. a bunless burger. And I would, I would add shrimp. And then, yeah, and then you would get the bunless burger. You would just get a burger with no bun. And then that. And then we'd share the buffalo wings. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, that's right, because they were breaded. But it's going to be really hard not to get the triple dipper, though. And the Texas cheese fries. Yeah, the one I used to like was they don't have it anymore the enchiladas. Ooh, the enchiladas. enchiladas with the tortilla soup. They're. And their, no, it's enchilada soup. Their enchilada soup okay. is so Sorry. delicious. Oh, right. enchilada oh soup. my gosh. Sorry. 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 Also, my arm is about 95% better. I've been taking steroids and Benadryl since Tuesday. It is now Friday. One full week that since vaccination. Yep. But only three days. Three days since. Well, two and a half because you're seven taking the night. Yes. Yeah. So two and a half days on medication. Well, that's not bad because it's gone down a lot. In yeah. Days. It's pretty much like I said, 95% better. So I'm excited because I was a little worried there for a minute. Yeah, me too. Um, so not too bad. Luckily, my arm's not going to fall off. Yeah, I know. That's kind of scary. Honestly. I was pretty scared. When it doubled in size, I was like, mm, probably Something not a good right. idea. I'm telling you, we're trying to figure out like what you're allergic to in the thing. I'm never allergic to anything. I think it's the HBCD. The, it's, the HBCD is like a stabilizer, I think, or I can't remember. Maybe an emulsifier? I can't remember. It was something. Something that helped it like stay like stay a liquid shot. There are a lot of people in town lately in Vegas. That we know. That we know. Unfortunately, we are not 100% vaccinated. Plus, those people didn't hit us up anyways, but... <laughs> I know that's something we post all this, you post all this stuff about living in... But maybe they're understanding that we're trying to be cautious. And they also saw my post probably at the very beginning of this. And probably like, oh, that guy's crazy. So, moving forward, if you come to Vegas and you're in the area, hit us up. Because we'll probably want to hang out with you. Yep. We got nothing to do. Actually, on, well, on work days, I, you know, I have a lot to do. Work. But, yeah, but on the days I don't work, I mean, I probably should be working on my days off too. But I also need, like, time off for my sanity. So. What? You need sanity? Yeah, I actually need like time off work so I don't go crazy. Library Gentleman's Club. I mean, there's like nothing more gentlemanly than shoving dollar bills down some woman's G-string while she shakes her butt in your face, right? What if she like farted? <laughs> if I was a stripper, I would fart all the time. <laughs> trying to put a dollar bill in her, in her I would be known as like, so what, what would, what, what would, would my stripper is. name be? The what fat farter? <laughs> what else? What? I, I gotta think of a more like. Let's see. Normally, like, isn't your stripper name like, isn't it like the name of your first pet and like the, your middle name or something like that? Like your, your first name is your middle Actually, name? Actually, I think my first, I, I didn't really have a lot of pets, but I had a hamster and I think its name was Piglet. So, uh, <laughs> Piglet and what else? That kind of I think it's the, the name of the street you grew up on, I think. Because they're usually like last names, you know? Mm, Piglet High? <laughs> I'm sure you grew up on a different... No, what, what was the street? Vanderbilt? Vanderbilt? That sounds Piglet. like classy. Oh, Piglet. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. That's why they use street names because it's always the name of somebody that's rich. And then like... Now I get it. Piglet could be like, you know how like Gwyneth Paltrow named her kid Apple, you know? Like, so I could be like... Na Piglet could be like a rich oh, person's yeah. name. Why? And they named the kid, why didn't she name her kid Apple? I don't know. And then why didn't she name her next kid like Grape or That's like, like yeah, she Melon had little, or... She could have had a fruit salad going on. Orange. That's like just... That's just asking for your kid to get beat up when they're... Although she probably won't... Her kid won't go to... Won't go Regular to school. Or probably any school for that matter. She probably has a private tutor. So... So what would your school. stripper name be? I've lived on so many streets. I have the pick. Like I have a pick of... Let's see, what was my first pet's name? 
Bones would be good though, even though it may not have been your first pet. Like Bones, that's a good stri male stripper name. Or well, my I had a goldfish that I won that that for like I had it for like two. It survived for like two days. Well, the air turbo. Because if we're being Cheeto, I want to be Marito. No, we can No, be Marito for me. This weekend we're being Keto, and then next weekend we can be Cheeto if you want. Oh, well, we got to be. So That's sad. Fun. We need your suggestions for good food in Vegas. Good food in Vegas. I mean, all food is good for the well, most like, part. What places are awesome? Yeah, like amazing. what places do we definitely need to try? Right. Oh, I have something to ask. What is the best drink at Dutch Brothers? Mmm. Yeah. I'm gonna say an annihilator, white mm -hmm. annihilator, picture perfect with whipped cream, or the almond bar. And yeah, I prefer the freeze. I really like the freeze, even yeah, though like you're not really getting a lot of coffee. If you want something that just tastes really good on a hot Vegas summer like day, get a freeze. We're about to get one of those this next, next weekend. This weekend, next weekend. Yeah. White wait. Annihilator, picture perfect with whipped cream, or an almond bar, picture perfect with whipped cream. Remember when we used to come to Vegas and we used to be like, man, imagine if we lived here. Yep, and now we live here. We're like, oh, and we've so been cool. like, I feel like we're moving here for the first time almost because it's like we couldn't yeah. go out this entire time. Like we went to a few places. Like we went to At Home, which is like, oh, I love that store. Awesome. It's like Home Goods. But like five times bigger and, and way better, more stuff yeah way more stuff better deals too yeah like home and goods not awesome. it doesn't just have like one of everything either yeah. like home goods yeah. you know how it's like one off stuff one like yeah this place has like it's like home goods in the style of stuff but they have multiples of everything yeah, it's awesome and it's yeah i mean i love it. at home at home is amazing but at like home. we're gonna explore or we're gonna like venture out into a whole new universe here we can actually go out and enjoy the Vegas Valley and we went to like the one that one taco spot like a long time ago remember why people taco night I'm getting ground beef from the grocery store Ortega sauce from the grocery store crunchy shells from the grocery store those tacos suck, from the dude. grocery store. I'm a white person, but I don't have tacos like that. Those tacos do not slap. Those, I mean, I'd slap them on the ground if I had one. You would eat them, don't lie. I mean, I'd eat them, <laughs> but I wouldn't. I wouldn't like pay for one if, if it was just sitting there and eat it. So let me show you my arm. Just Isn't it be beautiful? Hungry. Look, Poor look beauty. at how much better it is, though. Like, really, the only like bump is like right here, when the whole thing was like a bump before. Yeah, it was like super bump. It's still a little discolored, but it's a lot better than it was. I'm sorry some good tacos huh Heck yeah i make like a bunch of different style tacos i make like your typical like white people tacos but it's not with crunchy shells it's with like soft shells i make these really good like chicken shells too. fried um fried beef tacos those are good i make cheese shell tacos i'm so excited for food them that well oh there we go that's a better angle I should order two more. look at these delicious beauties i done messed up i knew it when he did but he didn't want to listen to me when i said boy you hungry how much the hungry is boy that's all right we're fat so sometimes we after eat yeah maybe we'll get some puppy or something for us how did i know you were going to say that I, I was thinking about that earlier but then i was more thinking about the donuts <laughs> All right, so here is the process. Here, here. 
so you unwrap. Normally they're warm still. They're still warm. Somebody. A little warm. And you gotta take your fork. We've become pros at like eating in the car. Yes, we have learned. We've like mastered it, dude. Alright. So, let's take this guy. Are you ready for me? Yeah. There we go. Cool, thank you. You're missing some cheese though, let me give you. Cheese is very important. Yes. I would never skimp on the cheese. Mm -hmm. It's very important. All right, there we go. Thank you. So this is the In-N-Out like keto burger. It's really good. We use our keto bread, solar bread, yeah? Solar bread. I've talked about it before on this channel, oh, but it is a game changer. So good. Game changer. All right, look, so added bacon. Like in and out is totally missing out on a market here without We you guys bacon. made, yeah, in and out made bacon with keto buns. Ooh. Look at this delicious morsel. Really good. More places should offer like a keto bun. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they don't. Well, I'll oh, put your local to keto um, taco and keto burrito. I wonder how many carbs the burrito has. Ten. We could probably split that. I wonder what's in it though. If it's all cabbage, it's not even worth it. There's chicken, but it has like spinach and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, just put a grip of chicken. Mm -hmm. But, non lazy keto people really watch their macros, and that would be too much uh, protein. Yeah. So they probably made it so it's a macro. It hits the mm -hmm. macros for And they probably use thigh meat. We're lazy, dirty keto. So it works. Yep, lost 100 pounds. Mm hmm. Lost 70. It's, it makes a huge difference cutting out carbs, at least for us. I mean, everybody's body is different. So, some people can't do keto. Just like some people can't eat a lot of carbs. Mm hmm. But for me, I don't know what it is. But anytime I have like ramen or pho, I feel like really tired the next day and sick. You know, I love it. And I've had ramen and pho from so many places. But I wonder if that's the salt sometimes. Could be. It could be the massive amounts of salt. Although, maybe not, because keto food usually has, like, a, a good amount of salt. salt. And you need, because your body drops a lot of water. Mm hmm You'll notice you retain zero, like, not zero, but barely any water while you're on keto. Yeah, that's true. Which is nice. I mean, look. Carbs aren't bad. I don't think carbs are evil or... We still love them. That's why we cheat. Yeah. Anything like that. I just found that the keto diet works for me for losing weight. I still like carbs. I mean, I still know that carbs are good for you. They provide energy. Yes, they are good. But... For me, cutting carbs helped me lose a lot of weight well, lose, and keep it up. Exactly. Because, yeah, I gained weight when I during, during quarantine. But what was I eating? We were eating ice cream, homemade all this homemade bread. We were eating, we were eating like cereal like every single day. Pretty pebbles, bro. Yeah, I mean that's literally you're literally just eating sugar. So. Cereal is basically candy that they put them, that they crush the multivitamin into. You might as well just like eat like a bowl of like ice cream. Yeah, really. For the carb count. Mm -hmm. Dang, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's bomb. Do you wish you had another one? Yeah. 
Alright, I'm gonna go some bobe. So zoom. Me. Then we're gonna share spicy then. Or get two smaller ones. Alright. I better not fuck up my spicy. I know, dude. There's like a fine line with poke. You can't you can overdo it with the mayo. Oh yeah. This one's spicy. By the way, I hate mayo. But I love it at the same time. I don't really like it either. I hate mayo, but I love spicy tuna. And I love ranch. Which has mayo. But if I don't know that it has mayo, if I don't see the mayo, then I pretend it's not there. Like Fuddruckers Ranch mm. is really good, but it has mayo. So is Wingstop. Really? They make it pretty much the same way, except Fuddruckers uses um, sour cream. Uh-huh. And... Wingstop uses buttermilk, I think. Hmm. You're still hungry, boy. No, I'm good. I'm really not hungry anymore. I'm fine. Like, I don't need to, like, eat till I'm stuffed. Every single meal. You know? No. This will fill me up, and then the way back, our uh, dip for this will fill me up, too. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of liquid. It's called liquid night. Mm-hmm. That's good, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, time to go on the strip. Mm-hmm. I mean, not, like, actually on the strip, but, like, I'll take a drive on the strip. So, have you ever had the following places? Because we are big, like, chain fast food place people. Like, when we go on trips... We yeah. like to like try the chains that are around there. Well, there's a reason why these places are chains. Yeah. You know, if the food really sucked, as most people, like people say, they wouldn't be in business. So, have you tried Taco Time? Oh yeah, Taco Time's good. Have you tried? You've never even had Taco Time. Oh wait, no, I've never had Taco Time. I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of Crystal. Have you ever tried Taco John's? Have you ever tried Whataburger? Oh yeah, that's good too. Burgerville. Um, Crystal. This one's good. Bojangles. Where else have we had? Culver's. I'm telling you, we have never had some of those, and we want to try them all. Bojangles is good. Bojangles was good, except their like sweet biscuit was too salty. Yeah, that's weird. Why did they put so much salt in it? It's almost like it was a savory biscuit, but then they like, oops. Yeah, they just like threw some blueberries in it and called it a day. Yep.